Welcome to Ozeki's How to Develop IVR with Ozeki VoIP SDK Tutorial Part 1. In this video I will show you how to create a new Visual Studio application and how to write the source code for the IVR by using Ozeki VoIP SDK. Interactive voice response is a technology that allows a computer to interact with humans through the use of voice and DTMF tones input via keypad. In telecommunications, IVR allows customers to interact with a company's host system via a telephone keypad or by speech recognition after which they can service their own inquiries by following the IVR dialogue. First, I need you to open the Visual Studio program to create a new console application. Click on the file New Project and choose the console application. Give a name for your application. Mine will be Example IVR. You can see here your program class with the main function. But first, we need to create a new class for the software registration. Right click on the project name and add the new class. Name it for example soft phone. To use the functions and methods of the SDK, we need to add the VoIP SDK to the references. You can find the DLL file at the path where you have installed the Ozeki SDK. Choose the file and click on the OK button. We need to add some using lines to the class for using the functions of the SDK. These are the ozeki.network.net, ozeki.voip and the ozeki.voip.sdk. After that, create an iSoft phone, iPhone line variables and an event handler type incoming call which we can handle the incoming calls. In the constructor, create a soft phone with soft phone factory, create soft phone function, and set up the main and max port ranges and the SIP port. Subscribe to the incoming call event with the addition assignment operator and the soft phone incoming call method, and set the incoming call handler in this method. If you get this, Let's create the register method of the class. The parameters are the registration required, display name, username, authentication ID, the password, domain host and domain port. Create an SIP account with these values. Write on the console the creating SIP account line and create a net configuration object and the phone line with the account and the net configuration. Write an info line on the console and subscribe on the phone line state change event. If we get this, then register the phone line with the phone line parameter. If there was any problem, let's write it on the console. Create a phone line state changed event handler and set this handler in the phone line state changed method. Write on the console the phone line state change it info line and set the handler. If our handler is not null, then set up the handler with the actual values. Then we finish the coding of the soft phone class. Before making the source code of the program class, we need to create a new class for handle the calls. I'm going to name it call handler. 
add the following using lines to the class. Make an iCall media connector, audio handler, phone call audio sender, and timer types objects. In the constructor, set the greeting message timer interval. It is for repeating the greeting message, and then subscribe to the greeting message elapsed event. Set the call and attach the phone call audio sender to this call. Let's set up the greeting message timer elapsed method. Call and generate the start greeting message method. In this we will dispose the current handler and set the greeting message with the text-to-speech method. If we have the current handler, so the audio handler is not null, then disconnect the media connector and dispose the audio handler. In the text-to-speech method, create a text-to-speech TTS object, connect this to the phone call audio sender and call the add and start method of the TTS with the text parameter. Now add your greeting message. Create the start method and subscribe to the call state change event. If the call state is answered, then start the greeting message timer and call the start greeting message method. Back in the start method, subscribe on the DTMF received event, and in the call DTMF received method, you can set up that if you press a button, what action will happen? By pressing 1, call the text-to-speech method. And if we press button 2, we will hear a sample mp3 song. Create the mp3 to speaker method and make an mp3 stream playback object with the path of the mp3 file. Finally connect the mp3 player to the phone call audio sender, start the streaming and in the start method accept the call. Now it's time for coding the program class. Make a list type call handlers variable to store the call handlers. In the main function set the call handlers and the soft phone objects. I will write some instruction at the beginning of the code to help the understand of the program. Call and create the SIP account initialization method. In this method we need to add our authentication ID by using the read function. This is for verifying that we have to add a value for initialization or we can use to default value if we want to. The return type of this function is string. We also need to add our username. If we didn't add anything, the program will use the authentication ID. If our input was null or empty, then the username will be equal with the authentication ID. Add the display name as well. We can choose a default value of the password. We must enter it. Add the domain host and the domain port as well. The default value of the domain port is 5060. As the port will be equal with the number what we added to the system. 
if we finished, let's register the soft phone with the register function of the soft phone. The only thing we left to do is subscribing on the incoming call event. Set the call handler object in this method. And if the call is completed, then remove this call handler from the list. Finally, call the start method of the call handler. Let's run the application and open a soft phone demo. I already registered an account in the soft phone to call the IVR. In our application, we have to add our authentication ID, our username, display name, and we have to add the password, domain host, and the domain port. If it works, you can see the registration succeeded line on the console. Now we're able to call our IVR. Introduce you the interactive voicemail aka IVR example code written with Jose P Voice SDK. For more information about Jose P Limited, please press button 1. Jose P Informatics Limited is a leading mobile messaging software vendor. It offers easy to use and feature rich telecommunication products for businesses and organizations. We finished the first video of how to develop IVR with Ozeki VoIP SDK. For more information please visit www.voip-sip-sdk.com and you can contact us at info at voip-sip-sdk.com. Please check out the next part of this tutorial video series. Thank you for watching.